Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Sammy and I love to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you like to play the game too, and you enjoy watching tours, speed builds, and interior designs, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe so you can be notified of any future videos that I post. So with that out of the way, why don't we start on the video? So as you can see, I have a bunch of items to pick from already laid out for this build. I will be working on the left side of the plant shop, and I used a few custom designs to show where I wanted my pathing to go. So I started outlining the area with the cobblestone pathing to show how big of an area that I'll be working with. Then I started building cliffs to outline the shape of the building for the bakery. So I used the in-game wooden plank pathing for the inside and then used the staircase custom design to lead up to the building. And then I used the gray brick pathing for the sidewalk in front of the bakery. So I started putting down some simple panels with custom designs on it to make up the building. So I wanted the building to be more on the brighter side unlike my previous build of the plant and record shop. So I used a lighter color for the designs on the simple panels. So like the record shop build, I really wanted to use the festival garland item again, but I wanted to use the blue color. So that's why I chose to make the building a lighter color so it's a better contrast between them. So you can't have a bakery without some shelves with bakery goods on them. So I used these bread, jam, and honey custom designs towards the back to emphasize that this building actually is a bakery. And then I also used a custom design with plants on them to give the place a little bit more decoration and fill the rest of the empty spots with jail bars. So I felt like the top of the cliffs looked kind of empty, so I decided to put some iron stone fencing just to give it a little bit more of a design on the top. Now to design the inside of the bakery. So I'm just using these brown den desks to show the display of the bakery items. So 
So I put down the cartoonist set to like make like they're taking down the orders and the analog scale. So all the food hats that I used in this build is actually from the same creator and I'll make sure to put that down in the description. Now to decorate outside on the sidewalk. So I thought it would be cute to have a couple of simple panels at the front acting like doors. So I put that there. And since I wanted the theme of this bakery to be more on the blue side, I used dolls to match the theme. And then I was also happy to be able to use the blue festival parasol. I think it's such a cute item and I decided to pair it with the iron garden furniture in the white color. I think they matched really well together. And then I decided to do the exact same layout on the left side of the bakery. So I decided to test out a couple of items to see how they would look in this build. Um, I wanted to have this bench with a couple tables, but as you can see later on, it didn't make the cut. <laughs> so I just opted out for a couple of garden benches instead. In my head, it looked okay, but when I actually displayed it, I was like, nah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> So I felt like I needed some light in the area, so I put down a couple of street lamps. And then I filled up the rest of the empty space with the gray brick pathing. But I made sure to leave a couple of spots open for the places that I wanted to put down trees. And then as indecisive I am, as I am, I decided to put the iron garden benches on the side um, in front of where I would put the tree and then I put down iron garden chairs instead. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> so I like the idea of putting a bird bath behind the bench. And I also wanted to put flowers and shrubs down. So I decided to erase the custom designs so that I would be able to put those in that area. Then I put down the rest of the iron garden chairs and tables and put little food decorations on the tables.
So in front of the bakery, I wanted to do the same thing as I did in my plant shop build and put down flowers and shrubs around the cobblestone pathing. So I ended up planting the same flowers that I did in that build. So it consisted of orange, red, yellow, and white flowers, and then also shrubs. And then I didn't want this area to go undecorated, so I put a fountain and a couple flowers and shrubs to fill the area. So there I go, using the mountain bike item again, one of my favorites. So I found this drain custom design and I thought it would make like a really cute touch in the sidewalk. It gives it a little bit more detail I feel like. So since this bakery basically just opened, I thought it'd be cute to put some blue balloons at the front door. Since everything was blue and I felt like the orange, red, and yellow flowers wouldn't match in the area, I decided to replace them. So I ended up using um, blue roses and blue pansies and another type of white flower to go with it. Then to fill the um, space by the fountain, I put a few custom designs down. So for me personally, I felt like the sidewalk area um, by the bench was still looking a little empty so I planted a blue rose and then eventually put down some spooky fencing. So this place was the last area that I needed to decorate. So I just put a tree, flower, shrubs, and custom designs. The basics to decorate small areas. <laughs> Yay, we're done! <laughs> so I time traveled a few days um, so that everything is all fully grown. So now we can do our walkthrough. And by the way, I love how the plant and record shop area turned out. Like, I think it looks so cool. So I love all the blues in this build. I think everything matches perfectly together. I think it just looks so great. And then there's cute little fauna studying the flowers in front of the bakery. <laughs> so inside the bakery it's not very ideal for taking pictures but at least the outside is
so this area is where I'll be carving out a canal so I think it would look really cute in between these two builds So that concludes this speed build. Thank you so much for coming to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it and it inspires you to make your own bakery on your island. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye!